What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. Hey everybody, welcome to Ravenel Ford. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Videos. Today we're going to be looking at the 2017 F250 Lariat right here at Ravenel Ford. So stay tuned over the next few minutes as I walk around this beautiful truck and uh, yeah, we'll see what it's all about. And uh, I'll do my best to go over some of the specs, pricing, and, uh, and some of the options this particular truck comes with. What a beautiful truck. This one we're looking at today is black. But as you can see, that, that blue is also looking really fresh. I'm liking that. What a beautiful truck. We got the headlights on for you so you can see that. And um, yeah, we'll take a look at it. So it's definitely a, uh, a good looking front end on the F-250 Super Duty. Just got a nice look about it. Those headlights are massive in size. The logo's massive. I mean, it's just everything's so big with the F-250. That stuff, for sure. Those big hooks down there that are chrome. I mean, this says, man, get the job done all the way. Right? Man, it does. Now, some of y'all out there may be Chevy fans, but after watching this video, you may become a Ford fan. Nothing wrong with switching over to the Ford brand, right? Yeah. Good looking truck, I'll tell you. So let's look at these wheels for a minute. They're big, aren't they? They're 20 inch. They sure are. So you got 20 inch polished aluminum wheels, Michelin tires that are at 275, 65. Got those massive shocks up under there. Keep the ride nice and comfy for you. Get the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel under the hood. I did a remote start on it just before I started recording, kind of cool it off on the interior. You got these big mirrors and they, they can also be pulled out and extended. So if you got a fifth wheel on the back, you can see out there a little bit better when you got that big trailer or whatever it is you're hauling down the road. I mean, it's a big truck, folks. Look at it. I have to back up a good ways just to get fit it all into the camera lens. There we go. I like that running rail on the bottom and I do like how they got Super Duty written on it right there. This is one thing I want to go over with you real quickly here, folks. Pricing, okay? Because this is, gets really important. Because this is not a cheap truck, folks. It's a, it's a $66,490 truck. The window sticker's right there. It's a little tough to see. But I want you to make sure you pay attention to the options that come on the truck when you're out here at the car lot. They made the price $66,490. Because you need to know. Because the price started at uh, 50,820 and it's got 14,375 in just add-ons. So anyways, but the pricing is not that at Ravenel Ford. 66,490, you got a discount of 37,664. Invoice plus $98 is 62,726. Another thousand dollar rebate there, puts you at 61,726. No dealer admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. That saves you three, 400 more right there. So. I don't think there's any Ford stores in your city or in my city that got a window sticker like that right there. And I love it. That's great. You know, some of those add-ons that made the truck so much more money was the FX4 off-road package, all these nice little extras on the truck, okay? We don't add those on in dealership. Those come from the manufacturer. Those beautiful pipes there look great. Back tires look good. Shocks and everything in the back's looking nice and clean. Nobody's got this one muddied up just yet. Man, that's a pretty looking wheel, isn't it? Wow. Look at the rear. You get some technology back here. You got your backup camera, two cameras, massive size Ford logo, backup sensors, tow package. Like I said, two cameras, one here, one there, okay? Two different views, you're gonna need that. This camera is probably shooting down here for when you're towing stuff, and this one's like a wide angle fisheye type lens shooting all out here. Now I did a video not too long ago and I didn't recognize, this is when I first seen one of these trucks and I didn't realize if that was a sensor or a camera. Some guy totally blew me out on, on, on YouTube about that. You know, I'm like, man, you know, can't you just forgive a fella for misrepresenting something? But anyways, don't take it so seriously, folks. Don't take it so seriously, all right? But I do appreciate the comment. I won't forget it and that's why we're talking about it right now. Do got the spray in bed liner that came from the manufacturer, and if that ain't a good looking back window that opens and closes, I can't tell you what is. Throw that puppy dog a bone. If you got a chocolate lab sitting in the back, throw him a little, a little milk bone cookie. Anyways, some people don't ever pull that open and look. 
as you can see diesel fuel there whatever that is right there is that window washer fluid <laughs> it might be who knows all right take a look at the interior see what we got going on in here in this beautiful Ford truck today man if it wasn't black on the outside and the black interior that made it all nice got this cool looking wood trim it's not real wood right there but it's got a nice look to it tons of power mirrors power windows and all those options power seats memory seats there's your power seat features there lumbar support and if it ain't it's real leather that's right it is it's real leather in this truck and it smells good perforated with the holes in it got the stitching this is really nice leather's wrapped up onto the steering wheel it's wrapped up onto the dash I mean Ford is doing a great job let's go ahead and sit up in this truck and see what we got going on put my Nike shoe right here and climb up in ah. Now what Ford has done for you is they've added in a digital dash here. The whole dash or the whole gauge cluster is not digital, but right in the middle there you got that huge screen, which is nice. Then another massive screen right there. I'm gonna go ahead and crank her up. I mean she's running, but when you do power, when you do remote start, it just basically cranks the vehicle. So here's our key. Now you notice this is a little odd. There's no there's no push start in here how about that and just turn the key like that and she's back alive high definition screens Sony stereo system look at all those auxiliary buttons up here I mean every guy loves auxiliary buttons in their trucks don't they and they sure do now they're not doing a whole lot right now but you can get things <laughs> every guy likes clicking them too and I just noticed the light when they're when they're clicked on light the light illuminates in there lets you know it's on which is nice Let's look at our backup camera, four-wheel drive, brake gang, cooled and heated seats. You get the sync system in here, which is going to give you USB auxiliary ports right down in there. More storage. Press that right there. Boom, it closes. I'm glad they got cooled seats. Let's put it in reverse. Look at our camera views. There's a big button up here. It can switch them around. Look at that fella walking around back there. What's that fella doing? So that's pretty cool. And there's one view. And then there's a there's a camera all the way up on the top of there looking in the trunk. How many of y'all ever rode down the road in your truck and were wondering if something's gonna fly out? Ford just fixed that little that little thing right there, okay? You know, it kind of hold on. So there's that. There's one view there, one view there. Now that guy in the video said, oh, there's more cameras in the back. Well, let's see. I mean, I told you there was two. There we go. Booyah. So that solves that problem real quick. But yeah, that's a great feature, being able to see into the back of the trailer or the truck. It just kind of takes that little edge off when you're riding with a bunch of stuff back there. So very clean, good looking truck. It better be clean, it's brand new. Big cup holders. Big armrest, also leathered out. Nice and deep. There's a 12 volt down there. You got a lock right there. You can lock it up. You know, in case you got something in there, you don't want somebody to get more cup holders. You can get a F-250 with a sunroof if you want it. This one just doesn't have it. That's okay. All right, so that's it, folks. I'm not gonna go over every little in detail feature in these systems right now, because I got more vehicles to film, but, um. You're definitely welcome to stop by the dealership and take it out for a ride with the sales guys. They do have LED lighting now in your uh, in those lights up there. Let's see if they got them in the uh, vanity mirror. That looks like an LED, but still has that kind of off-white color, which I'm not a fan of. I've been talking about that a lot in the videos lately because my wife pointed out that that's not a good color lighting when you're uh, doing makeup why hasn't the uh, manufacturer figured that out that's because the engineers probably don't have a wife telling them that stuff they need a man like me working for them so anyways that's you have 250 lariat at Ravenel Ford 
There's another F-250, that's the long bed. We got a bunch of them out here. Come on down and see us. We thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. If you enjoyed hearing my commentary while walking around this truck, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like button, and send me a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll see you soon from Ravenel Ford. Have a great day. Visit us online at RavenelFord.com. Carbine really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.